Oh no, I like Valentine. Change my mind. I feel like I would rather read about villains than heroes because they just they just make me happy when they're so mean. I don't know why. I feel like that's not like a normal thing to say, but villains just make me have like I just like villains way more. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Dingeries Laney, but it is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tome, so I'll leave both their links as well as the Goodreads group down below if you want to check it out. Today's topic is our Top 5 Favorite Villains. So without further ado, let us get started! My first villain is Valentine from the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I know a lot of people are probably going to say Sebastian is their favorite if they use a villain from these books, but I've only read the first three books, so I actually don't know how evil or whatever Sebastian is, but I know a lot of people say that he's a terrible human being. But I haven't gotten that far yet, so we're going with Valentine. I love him. He's the perfect, like mix between evil and just downright cruel and it just makes me so happy to read about him and I have to read the fourth book but school is killing me right now so it's probably not gonna happen until Christmas break which is like a month away but still I need to know how evil Sebastian is so right now we're going with Valentine. My next villain is President Snow from The Hunger Games. I think that he is so much fun to read about. I think he's the best in The Mockingjay but I just love him in all the books, to be honest. My third villain, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I love this person so much, and it is James from The Magician by D.A. Poopa. I love James. He is so psychotic, and just everything about him and the way he thinks is so fascinating. He's like, IQ is through the roof and just you get to see how he thinks through things and it's just so interesting to read. So if you haven't read this book, seriously, read this book because it's so cool being inside James's head. The next villain on my list is Joe from You by Caroline Kepneys. I don't know if he counts as a villain, but I'm going with it. I'm gonna stretch the limits, whatever. But basically, Joe stalks this girl named Beck, and the story is told from his perspective, and it's kind of like James, where it's just really interesting to be inside his head, and I just find it so fascinating to, like, know what he's thinking. So, I'm going with Joe. I don't know if he counts, but he's counting for my list. And my final villain is Queen Lavana from The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I recently read this series. I am obsessed with it. Queen Lavana makes me so happy. She is so evil and I don't know the backstory really because I haven't read Stars Above or whatever the one where it's Queen Lavana's story yet but from what I learned from Winter it's just her whole story is just so sad and I just I still love her because she just I love how evil she is. I like evil characters. I know it's weird. This whole video is just me going everything about them makes me happy but it does. Alright guys so those are my five favorite villains that I've read recently. <laughs> Well, not recently, because Hunger Games wasn't recent, but still, whatever. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!